the graph of the function is shown, which graph is an antiderivative of f? All right, let me do my best to graph this. That's f. Is a c c. Probably should have used different colors. Sorry about that. Um, can you tell each function? All right, so I'll put that out there. If you if you can't tell, I can try to use a different color for each function. Um, so I'll give you a second so a couple people can answer that. Okay. Okay, so I want to know which one is the antiderivative. Basically, the, the, the way to do this, and because we don't know how to really graph an antiderivative yet, is remember that an antiderivative is a function that when you take its derivative, you get back the original function. So you, with graphs, you look at it this way. Which, which graph, when you take its derivative, gives you f? So let's talk about what f says. F, if f is the derivative and one of these functions, a, b, or c, if they're the antiderivative, that means f is the derivative. And the derivative function tells you slope. So what we're going to do is we're going to use f and then say, OK, well, where does f cross the x-axis? Because if f tells you the slope of one of these functions, if f tells you the slope of one of these functions, find out where it crosses the x-axis. So it crosses, it crosses here. Okay. So let me use a different color. All right. All right. So f crosses here. So my function had my my antiderivative, the the original function. It has to have a slope of zero then. Um, now, being that I sketched this, you know, these are a little off here. Um, so it looks like I could have had a slope of zero here, and I could have a slope of zero here. This obviously doesn't. At this point, a is definitely a positive slope, nowhere near, uh, nowhere near zero. So it's not a. All right. So any issues on why it's not a? Again, we're looking for when it has slopes of zero. So this tells me my one of these functions has to have a slope of zero, and it looks like it's either c or b, because I drew the functions a little off, but c or b. Okay. All right, so good. Uh, so what else do we know? Let me look at this again. Um, yeah, so ba on, on the, the actual real drawing, um, sorry, my computer slowed down for a second. Hopefully it's, um, I took away my picture, thinking that I might speed it up. Uh, what else do we know? Okay, well, if it's either going to be C or B, let's talk about when it's here. This part here, they're going to agree that they are positive slopes. They're going to agree that they're positive slopes. I'll, I'll, I'll open that up for the chat. Does everyone agree that these are positive slopes? Now, if they are positive slopes, what that tells us is that the derivative um, okay if these are positive okay good everyone's saying it 
if these are positive slopes, that means the derivative function must be positive. Okay. So if we claim C is the antiderivative, meaning the derivative tells us the slopes. The, the C function has positive slopes here. The derivative should then tell us positive y values. Does everyone see that it doesn't? Between here and here, my, my derivative function, my slope function, are all negative y values, meaning that my antiderivative function should have negative slope. Should have a negative slope. Okay, so let me open that up, Let's see if anyone's... Yes. Okay. I don't actually know if that was a yes for my previous question. All right, so right now I'm going to throw out C because, again, C has positive slopes here, which means the derivative function f must have positive y values. It's not. These are negative y values down here. So let's see if it works for B. All right. From here, these, the, the, this function is going down. And then it starts going back up you know, around here. But my function is decreasing, which means my derivative function should have negative y values, which it does. Now notice here, right here, where my derivative function crosses the x-axis, that's where I should have a slope of 0. There's my slope of 0. And then after I cross this point, my derivative function is positive, meaning I have a positive slope. B is positive now, positive slopes. So answer is B.